Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today I'm up with a Panelisa design team haul. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my haul over three days. So I'm going to do the dies today, I'm going to do the paper on Thursday and on Friday I'm going to do the stamps and some stamping. So that's how I'm going to organise it and then next week I'm going to do projects from the haul. Right, so, really exciting. And first of all, if you can hear that weird humming noise in the background, it's my air conditioner because it's hot. So I'll apologise for that first of all. So first up, and we have a set of pockets. Absolutely gorgeous. Pockets, different tabs, different flaps, little frilly bits. We've got stitched bits and we've also got this bit. I'm quite excited about that bit, which might sound a bit odd, but it kind of, it reminds me of a piece of washi tape, you know, that kind of rough torn edge, and uh, there's a set of stamps coming up on Friday, and I'm thinking that that's going to match one of the stamp sets that I was sent, so that is the set of pockets, and I'm going to measure the biggest one, so that we know what we're doing, we are at... Let's have a look cut line to cut line I'm gonna say that's four inches and then if we go cut line up to there four inches so that is the largest pocket next up is a set of crates which is absolutely gorgeous so that's a cut and fold set where you've got all your elements on one die so you're not going to lose them and that's going to be great for storage and for gifting now looking at this it's a little bit awkward so I'm going to have to make that to do its full measurements but it is a lovely size. In fact what I can do is attempt without dropping everything on the floor here to do a measurement of what I think the width of the crate would be when made and I think it's 3 and 3 sixteenths so that's how big I think that would be. Right just dropping my ruler there and we got a little set of kind of collage type birds with layering pieces now I do put all links below so anything that's confusing you that I'm showing you you can jump on the website and have a look so we've got a little set of birds and this really sweet layering nest set with eggs which is uh, very spring but can also be very Christmas three and a half inches wide I think that's really pretty yeah I mean for Christmas you know just do a really dark brown nest and some olive greens in there and frost everything up just really pretty and then I've got a really handy little die here which is a honeycomb and it does the corners so if you love your bees and you just want to, you know, pop something small into there. Now, I'm going to say your corner down into your corner is going to be two and seven eighths. So that's really sweet. And then I've got a set of layering flowers. And I'm not quite sure how those go. So I'm going to have to figure those out. But they look like morning glory to me. And then next up, a gorgeous little bunch of flowers. I think that's a whole piece. Yes, it is. So that's a nice one for watercolouring. And the height of that die is going right down to the bottom there is four and three quarter inch. So that's going to fill a card. And then next up, I've got this lovely frame. Now, obviously, if you did a little bit of, um, you know, clever piecing and what have you, that could also be a great sunflower. So it could be a frame and a sunflower. So my outside measurements there, three and three quarter inches. Next up, and I do love my lace. So we've got a gorgeous lace border set there. And you've got the layering pieces. And you've also got fancy buckles, which are always cool to put on journals and onto cards. Because you can use your ribbons and stuff up. But look at the detail in that. Really pretty. So the length of the lace border, I'll measure the longest one. And that is, 
have a look there. I'm going to say five and five sixteenths, which is a fraction under six inches. That's what I'm going to say. It's too early in the morning to say anything else. And that is one and one sixteenth of an inch on the widest. So that's a really pretty lace border and buckle set. And then next up we have a easel card, which is a vase of flowers. And then you've got the vase layering piece. And you've got all of those lovely flowers and leaves to lay on top. Now, the height of that card when finished, I can do that, is five and one eighth of an inch. Yes, it is. And then at the widest point, it is going to be, let's have a good look at that, two and seven eighths of an inch. That's another lovely one. And then I've got this absolutely fabulous little bee look at the size of that i don't know why i called it little it's rather large and the size of that b is two and three sixteenths and you've got a fabulous wingspan and you've got three different sizes which is great so the biggest wingspan is two and a half inches oh i really like that because you've got all the different sizes wonderful and then next up you know me and fruit what a gorgeous set of oranges, lemons or lime slices, whatever you want it to be. Now, lay it up together on a frame. I think that's that's how I'm going to do that. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. You've got the embossed section as well, which makes colouring them in or just cutting them out of colour cardstock really easy. So your biggest fruit slice there is two inches right next up and i've got some more wonderful flowers yes we've got spring and summer in the air here and we've got stems to put those on so that's something else i'm going to do so that i can get full measurement and then next up really sweet we've got heart star and a round balloon with the little highlighted bits there and the balloon strings that go on to them and you've also got the word yay love that so i'm guessing that each letter goes on to each balloon and then the string that's on the bottom will hang off of it so that you could actually cut those apart yeah i'm gonna have to play with that but that's really cute and then i've got one which oh no i can't show that one that one goes with a set of stamps oh I've got a vintage uh, record, just a note it says, that's what that bit says, that makes a box and you put a vinyl record inside of it. Well that's really retro and nice. So I'm going to have to make that so that you can see the measurements on that one but I think the finished envelope is going to be 3 inches, let's have a look at that, by 2 and 7 eighths. So that's a great size. Make a great pocket on the front of a card as well. And then I have another one which I believe is a bird. I think it's a bird looking at this shape here. But I need to make it to see. I can see we've got a lot of star shaped ones. Oh no it's a fairy girl. Oh yeah I can see. That's her face. She's got the hair sweeping around. These are the fairy wings and that's her little body and dress right so i need to make that one so that i've got the full size of it that might look really cute actually with your peachy keen uh face stamps done into there which i think that's how i'll do that one that's really sweet and then next up who doesn't love a good cup so we've got a cup here with whipped cream and a saucer we've got a little heart stirrer and then we've got lots of little hearts that will come out of that cup and then next up, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's a set of folding lace pockets that you can put onto a journal page, pop it onto the front of a card, or you can lay them all up together so that they're like a concertina. But I think that would look nice on the front of a card with a big bunch of flowers just hanging out of it. 
love that right the biggest pocket will be your inside measurement to get the correct on that is three and a half inches and then the height because the lace is included on that die is three and three eighths so that's the largest lace pocket in that set get a close-up on that isn't that lovely looks like crochet and then next up oh i can't show that one either because that goes with a die um i mean a stamp and then this one which is an umbrella with the weather these are really cute for having with your critters you could even use that with a fairy die so i might actually try and do that combine the two Can have a little spring fairy splashing around in a puddle but that's really lovely you've got the stitched umbrella and the stitched clouds and you've got a little rainbow so the width of the umbrella top is two and three quarters and then of course with the handle you'd pop that wherever you wanted to however far inside but that handle is let's have a look one and three quarters so that's basically how big your umbrella would be and you've got a handle piece there as well so you could make it different on top right that is what i've got for you today so i am going to be up tomorrow which is thursday and i'll be up with the papers thank you so much for joining me have an absolutely wonderful day and as usual all links below bye <laughs>